I'm Grace. I'm here today to talk about benefits in kind and P11Ds. So what is a benefit in kind? Essentially, it's when a company provides their employees with job perks or job benefits as well as their normal salary. So examples are company cars, uh, company fuel benefit, private medical insurance, certain types of life insurance, um, one we see sometimes is employee loans that are more than £10,000. So we see this in the context of a director's loan account. Um, if your director's loan account is overdrawn and it's more than £10,000, it's likely that that's interest free and your company's not charging you interest. So because it's interest free, it becomes a benefit in kind. Um, because that's, you know, if you try to get that loan from a bank anywhere, they're going to charge you interest. So it's that's where the benefit comes into play. Um, so benefit in kind are taxable benefits. They'll have a cash value and employees need to pay income tax on the value of the benefit. So they'll pay tax on whatever rate taxpayer they are. So if they're 20%, 40%, that's the rate they'll pay. Um, the employers who offer the benefits also need to pay employers national insurance on the benefit um, because it makes up part of the employee's earnings. So they're paying national insurance on their normal salary through payroll. Um, but they also need to pay it on the benefit in kind. So you must report your benefits in kind to HMRC every tax year. So for 2021-22, um, you need to report this within three months of the end of the tax year. So the deadline for that is the 6th of July 2022. Um, that's also when you need to pay the national insurance on it. So when we say the reporting requirements for benefits in kind, that basically means P11D. So P11D forms, um, there's two parts to it. One's a P11D, which each employee will get. So if you've got five employees and they've all got company cars, you'll need to do five P11D forms. Um, there's a, the other part of the P11D is the P11D B form, which, um, you do one of them for the whole business, which is the total amount of national insurance you need to pay. Um, and then you pay that over to HRC along with the form. So PLMDs go hand in hand with payroll. It's quite intertwined with employee earnings. So for our clients, we we do PLMDs for them. Um, so if you are a client that's thinking of offering P11, ugh, offering benefits in kind to your employees, or maybe you're thinking about getting a company car, um, please do get in touch because, I mean, especially with company cars, the amount of tax you pay can vary greatly depending on whether it's electric or petrol or diesel and what the CO2 emissions are. Um, so it's always worth having a chat with us if you're thinking of, you know, delving into benefits in kind. Um, Pop us an email and we can give you some more specific advice. Uh, okay. I hope this has helped you understand a bit more about benefits and kinds. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please do get in touch. Okay, thank you.